1997 35 RKS Sandcastle by R Vision here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Recent trade in. I like the double flag post up front. Double the flags means double the patriotism. It's a 97. I'm not going to lie, she ain't perfect. There's a spot on here where it has leaked uh, pretty significantly in the past. I will show that to you as we go inside. If that is an instant disqualifier for you, I understand and respect that. That's why I talk about it right away, so I'm not wasting 10 minutes of your time shooting one of these things. Um, if you uh, are understanding that uh, for a low dollar 1997 unit, it's not going to be picture perfect, then please continue to join me here. Um, the uh, slide awning toppers here, somebody spent some good money adding those things on. And uh, I noticed too, you can kind of see the uh, that fin sticking up there. It has uh, max air covers over all three roof vents as well. So there is some good money put into this here. The side awning toppers right there, you probably got at least 1800 bucks wrapped up in those. Um, the rear wall here, as is the case with almost any classic rear kitchen, uh, has had some leaks to it. Uh, these upper corners uh, look like they may have failed on both ends. Um, everything looks to be all right right now. Uh, you know, for the money that we have it at, we're not gonna go through and fix anything. We, uh, we like to have a couple out here as a low dollar uh, you know, starter units or, uh, you know, hunting cabins or something that you leave by a lake, something like that. Like I said, she's not picture perfect, but we're not hiding that from you either. Um, you know, there's a lot of good spots in life still left in the coach, though. Like I said, somebody did keep, uh, put some money into it. They did maintain it periodically. And, um, the, uh, these are slide locks, by the way. Sometimes people ask me, what are those metal bars that I see sometimes? That's what those are. The, um... Let's see here, big super slide on the, the main level. Like I said, classic rear uh, kitchen. This was a very common floor plan, continues to be a very common floor plan to this day. Central air, central heat. I have not personally tried any of the appliances, mostly because this RV has only been here for about 10 minutes. But uh, my understanding is that everything pretty much works. It's just unfortunately had a leak in the past. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the story behind this one was something to the extent of somebody bought it, um, you know, knowing that it was a bit of a fixer-upper and put some money into it. Like, they've replaced the microwave. Um, so, I mean, like I said, they added the slide-out awnings. They put some money into this coach. They definitely weren't trying to just ride a pony until it died. That's not the case here. Rear kitchens always give you the most storage, but I did mention, and uh, I don't want to forget, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room now. The, uh, like I said, the upper corners have leaked. Th this wall here is pretty solid. It starts to get a little spongy as you get over toward the side there. If you look down here, you can see that discoloration on that wood. That is a uh, water stain. And uh, that trend will continue over in this corner. This corner has seen significantly more, and it is uh, significantly softer right there on that corner. But remember, we took the time to point this stuff out to you. We did not hide a darn thing from you. We're being fair and honest about our inventory. So again, if that is a disqualifying factor for you, which I understand and I respect, then re then you know have a little confidence in the other things that we offer you here at Halus, hey, new or used, and know that we're shooting you straight on these things. Bottom line is, it's way too much money, and you drive way too far to buy one of these things, and you get your hopes up way too high to be disappointed like that. Um, you know, classic entertainment center that is far deeper than the ones used today because flat screens were not available like they were previously. And check this out, man. You can rock the cassette player. How about that? If, do you even have cassettes? To do Any of you folks, if you have a cassette, I want you to just send us in, uh, uh, you know, a contact us sort of email that says, yes, I have cassettes. Um, big bathroom in here. I was actually really surprised at just the full size of this bathroom. Huge closet going on right here. You know, another thing that kind of strikes me as I'm walking through here is this used fifth wheel does not smell like a dead animal. Uh, <laughs> most used fifth wheels just smell like something died inside of them because I think at one point or another, maybe something does. Uh, well, there you go. Someone used a bottle of Febreze inside. Check that out. Case closed. Big storage in here. And I love the fact that if you're like me and you often forget to grab a towel before you get out of the shower, um, well, before you get into the shower, rather, then you have a linen cabinet right there. This is washer dryer prepped right here. Obviously has never been used as such, only been used as a giant closet, but there is no drawback to a giant closet. That is just a purely beneficial item. Uh, moving upstairs here, 
What is nice is I was uh, surprised to find individual controls for both the main deck slide in the living room as well as this bedroom slide up here. Usually these things tend to operate on a single one button system which can be a little clumsy. It's obviously not the factory mattress, that's a residential pillow top that someone has thrown in here. But I do like these little bedside stands they threw in there. You know, you, it, it seems like a lot of RVs don't have any storage next to the bed. It's good to find stuff like that. Big front wardrobe closet so you can keep this thing packed and not have to repack every time you go on vacation. And a, uh, a classic front storage uh, like vanity section where you could, uh, you know, today you could almost use that like a little laptop station. Whereas previously it was like a, a TV stand effectively. Like I said, a lot of good going on here. It's had some leaks. It's had some history. It's a 97. What do you expect? I think that makes it 19 years old at this day and age. Uh, but if you have a little knowledge and know-how and you just don't want to spend top dollar on something, plenty of life left in this thing. Uh, if you're a first-timer, you have no idea what you're doing, don't buy this one. You know, uh, again, I'd rather be fair and straight with you so that you, you understand what you're getting into. And if you're a first-timer and you're, you have the knowledge and know-how and you want to get involved in it, okay. But just keep in mind, we shot you straight on it so that you know what it is and what it's not. 800 256 51 96 Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.